Sorry for the lateness of the video, folks. Uh, fun at my house. What else can I say? Anyway, exhaustion. That's what we're here to talk about today. And when I say that word, many people think, oh, not enough sleep or too much work or even, man, I wish they'd shut up. But for anyone who deals with the fatigue of chronic illness, it has a completely different interpretation. Yeah, this isn't common knowledge, though, because if you say you're fatigued, most people just say something like, oh, well, you should get more sleep, or try more caffeine, or my personal favorite, you don't need more sleep. You need better sleep. <gasps> really? Is that what I need? Wow, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> who knew? Next to be telling me that smoking is actually bad for you and I shouldn't eat Taco Bell at 3 a.m. after drinking at the bar all night. <laughs> the fatigue we suffer isn't a function of lack of sleep or eating badly. It's simply because our bodies are constantly fighting the enemy inside. And that takes energy. Lots of it. And there isn't much left over most days. You never know quite what you're going to wake up to. It's like the world's crappiest lottery. Yeah, even if you win the top prize... That prize is you just get to keep the money you already had when you played the lottery in the first place, right? And also, just like real life, the odds are instead you've just spent your entire paycheck on losing scratchers and a six-pack of Schlitz. Yeah, more often than not, you wake up and some sort of fatigue has already set in. It's been up since 6 a.m. actually. Had a little grapefruit, read the paper, probably the Wall Street Journal. And by the time you open your eyes, the fatigue has already started its day and gives you that shameful... Well, I was up at 7 a.m. Glare, you know, the one you used to get from your grandfather when you weren't out of bed and plowing the fields by 8. Yeah, you know the look I mean. My granddad would have mowed the lawn, cut up logs for the fire, and built a shed to put them all in before breakfast. Greatest generation. Anyway, the point is, fatigue works as hard as my granddad did at making you exhausted. And it's part and parcel of living with any kind of chronic illness. In addition... In addition, if you happen to have the good fortune to wake up with a decent amount of energy and a near normal level of motivation, well, fatigue is never going to let that stand. No, like the party crasher at your wedding. It may not show up right away, but when it does get there, there's going to be drama. It will sap your desire faster than a house guest on Valentine's Day and kill any motivation you have to do any work at all. In fact, I'm experiencing it right now, and it is making it just impossible for me to finish this last bit, bit of... Uh, anyway, as always, folks, be kind. Re uh, you know the rest. Talk next week.